I'm joined by Peter Wrench to chat about his Cardiff Runners at Hollywood Bet Stonewall on Wednesday, the 21st of August. Peter, it's been a frustrating time. <laughs> for well, you. at least this is the second time that you've come and second time we've got sunshine. And that's a rarity. <laughs> so um, you have four runners on the card, starting in race five, uh, the 1600 meter open maiden for Feliz Mez with Daimondia. So she is from the Lunga Gila yard and had her first run for you on the 1st of August. For a little bit of a concern here. She's a graze in, will definitely go a little bit further than a mile. The racing, as you know, has been very quick. Horses have been placed handy because of the front runners have tended to stay on. Last time she sat a little handy and she was very one paced up the straight. She didn't run a bad race, she finished nine lengths off them. So we'll try something a little bit different this time. Try give her a bit of a chance and drop her out and see if she runs on. And then race seven, you're sending out stable mates, Black Path and Summer Fling in the 1400 meter Cape D stakes. Um, again, these two have been to the races and back, <laughs> I think so many times, but finally getting a run here. Well, let's hope it's ninth time lucky because they've had eight races canceled. Summer Fling's been with me for seven weeks and hasn't had a race yet. She worked very well yesterday. We managed to put some work in on Sunday because they went to the race course on Saturday for nothing. So gave them some work. Very happy with her work. She hasn't run, as I said, for nearly two months. So she'll probably need the run. Black Path worked very well. Her form, if you take out her last start, is not bad. It's probably the right type of race for her. And I think she'll be competitive. I'm expecting a very, very good run from her. That last run, she needed that badly. She hadn't run for over six weeks. She finished 11 lengths back and I'm expecting a good run from her. As I said, not a great race. And then lastly, race nine, the 1000 meter Cape D stakes. You are saddling explicit content. Nice draw, save your castings on board. Um, it did win for you first time out at Durbanville on the 25th of July. How's he been doing since then? He worked exceptionally well on Saturday morning. He's a very quick horse. We're also fortunate the handicappers treated him appropriately. He got five points for winning by two and a quarter lengths. That will obviously bring Lover's Lane into the race. There's Wiley Jack of Andre Staines who ran second last time. That's got good form, but he's quick. So explicit content. If he gets up handy, it's tended to favor the horses I see on Saturday up front. He'll be very competitive uh, with his speed.